Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Brinkerhoff with Hair and Makeup by Steph, and I'm here with Kenra Professional to walk you guys through a high updo using their new volumizing powder. So our model has shorter hair and it's a little bit on the finer side. So we prepped it with the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner, and that's gonna help give us a really nice canvas to start with. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before I get started, I'm going to go in and add some back combing at the roots and get that locked in place with the Kenra Volume Spray 25. So this isn't necessarily for volume. What I'm trying to do here is just add grit at the roots so that they're not silky soft and that I have something to stick my bobby pins into. So I'm just going to go through and do that throughout the roots on the entire head. Okay, and then I'm just running my fingers through that to soften that and make the hair a little bit more workable. Okay, and I'm also getting the top combed a little bit more back because that's the direction that it's going to be pinned. Okay, I'm going to lightly mist some of the Hot Spray 20. This is a firm hold heat protectant. And I'm just working this through and I'm just going to apply this and then do some loose curls in her ends. So I'm not worried about doing these too tight or being too particular about these, but I just don't want her ends to be stick straight. So I'm just going to softly curl them under and give them a little bit of bend. I'm going to start where the center of the updo is going to sit. So it's going to be right here at the crown. So I'm going to pick up a medium sized section and get my volumizing powder in there. So I'm just pumping this in the hair. It has a targeted applicator, which makes it really easy to direct and apply it just where you want it and it has like a medium hold. So it's not gonna be too difficult to work with after, but it's definitely making a difference in the volume. And then once I have a good amount of that in there, I'm going to go ahead and get this placed. So I'm basically just going to loop this and get it pinned, but I wanna make sure it's in the center, so I'm holding this loosely and then I'm just pulling on some pieces to make it a little bit more airy. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and get that pinned in place. Okay, I'm just going to detail this a little bit more and get that locked in place with the Kenra 25. Okay, now I'm going to start working towards the face on each side, so sort of at an angle. So I'm going to pick up a diagonal section and this is going to get incorporated. So I'll add my volumizing powder. And this part of the process is very visual I'm just trying to create a nice balanced shape through here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that rolled and pinned next to the other section. Okay, 
I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. And while I'm doing this, I wanna pay extra attention to how it's looking around the front as well. So as I get closer to the face and work my way down here, I'm going to make sure that everything gets pinned back to this general area. And then from there, I can work with the ends. I'm going to leave out this hair around her face for now. I'm gonna come back and do that at the end. So I'm going to start working my way back. So I'll work my way towards the back and then work my way down. At this point, I'm going to start getting some of these ends up just to get them out of the way. And really all I'm going to do with these is get a little more of the volumizing powder in the ends. Okay, and then I'm going to twist them and pull on them slightly. And this is going to help create the bulk of the top knot. powder is actually really unique because it's water encapsulated and then it breaks upon application. And it's very long lasting as well. So it's going to give you long lasting volume. Okay, something you wanna keep in mind when you're working with shorter hair is that these pieces, they're not long enough to use them to create bulk. They're essentially just going to get pinned up. So I need to make sure that my updo is balanced and full and complete before I get these sections up.
Okay, and now all I have to do to finish is just get these last couple sections back. I'm going to leave some down to frame her face, but I don't want anything too chunky, so I'm just gonna break this up a little bit. Okay, and to finish, I'm just going to touch up these hairs that we left out, and then I'm also going to go in and check the balance, also make it a little bit wispier, pull out a couple pieces, and just make sure everything is looking how I want it to.